How to keep your trailer from being stolen. Whether you have a small trailer like this one or a big trailer with a custom car in it or all your tools, it's very important to be diligent to prevent your trailer from being stolen. And there's a lot of very cheap and easy ways that you can do that. I'm gonna show you a few of the low cost ways to prevent your trailer from being stolen. You can easily help reduce and prevent trailer theft by taking some steps. And really with this sort of stuff, it's about taking some steps for precaution. The basic idea behind all of this is to make it hard. I mean, make it harder. I mean, make it difficult. Because a lot of thieves, they go for the easy one. So if there's a trailer just sitting out on the side of the road and there's no lock on it, that's very easy for them to take. The first and most obvious one is to make it harder for them to get to the trailer. So if you can put it behind a gate, a locked gate, or a fence in your backyard, or having something parked in front of the hitch, so that way people cannot get to it or see it, is obviously one of the first ways and easiest ways to keep somebody from getting to your trailer. Now, for some people, you have to leave your trailer on the street or in the driveway. So you need to be a little bit more creative. Obviously, if you can park a vehicle right up against the hitch of the trailer, that's a very big help. But with a small trailer like this, heck, I can just pick this thing up and move it around. So if somebody can pick this up and move it around, they can much more easily steal it. So have you ever had a trailer stolen? If so, please tell me about that in the comments below. There's also some approaches. However, they're a little bit more labor intensive for you. One of the approaches is literally to just remove the bolts from here. So that way your tongue extends out with nothing for them to hook onto. So there's just a tongue there. So yes, you need to take some wrenches to be able to remove those components and lock them away like in your truck or something. That prevents them from being able to hook this right up to their vehicle. Another approach is literally to just remove one of your wheels. If you remove a wheel and take and, once again, put it inside of your truck or somewhere else out of sight or inside of your trailer, if it's a lockable trailer, having that wheel off is going to be a major deterrent because Chances are that thief has not come with the right size rim and tire to be able to put on your trailer to be able to take it away. So then we come to the very basic deterrence that most people know, and that is a lock of any kind. If instead of having this pin here, this is the same size as a general padlock. So I could put some kind of padlock right here through this clip. And by having a padlock, then this can't lift up for this to be able to be secured on the ball of somebody's hitch. Another place that you need to put a lock is through this chain right here. You need to run a lock connecting this chain together right here so that way this chain cannot be utilized. And why is that? It's because if you have a lock on here, even a fancy type of lock that prevents somebody from using the ball, especially on a small trailer like this, you can connect this trailer just with these chains. And you can haul this trailer down the road with these chains. Here's this trailer hooked up to my truck. I don't even have a hitch on there right now. I'm just using the chains. I connect the chains. They're able to hold the weight of the front of this small trailer. And I can just drive off like that. So that's why you want to make sure you're not just using something that locks here, but you're also locking up these chains, especially with a small trailer that somebody can easily hold and be able to attach with the safety chains. So the more inexpensive locks that you can place on places like the, the latch, the safety chains, and even through a rim, taking it through the frame or chaining it up to a fence post or something like that, even with just a bicycle cable, any of those types of precautions are going to make it harder for a thief to steal your trailer. The next level of protection is what I like to call big intentional locks. And these are the locks designed specifically to be able to secure your trailer.
And I have links to several of these locks in the video description through Amazon. There's something to be said for one of these larger, expensive, visible locks because that is a very visible deterrent. It shows that it's locked up and secured, and chances are it sends a message that there might be some other security measures in place. Now, a big intentional lock would not work very well on a small trailer like this because, as I showed, a person can still just get to these chains. So you have to make sure you're doing something with these chains. One place where theft of your trailer can occur that people don't usually think about is when their trailer is actually connected to their truck. They may have their trailer connected to the truck, have launched their boat down at the marina, and somebody could steal their trailer from there. So you may have the padlock on here. Person could actually just remove the pin from your hitch and just slide everything out and put it right on the back of their truck. So one way to prevent that is with one of these. This requires a key to be able to undo this lock, allowing the pin to come out from my hitch. So whenever I'm using my hitch, I always use this and that locks my hitch onto my truck. Personally, what I suggest to be able to help prevent the theft of your trailer is to be able to do multiple things. Obviously, if you can keep your trailer out of sight, that's the number one thing. By placing a lock here at the front, locking up these chains, and even just running a cable through a rim or cabling it around something else would probably be enough deterrent. So if you have to park a trailer on a street, my thought is just having some locks is better than nothing at all. They actually make something that's like a boot that you can put on the wheel. And that's a great deterrent because just being able to see that from the road and then being able to see that there's locks at the front here, especially if you have something that's a big yellow lock, that shows that that trailer is pretty well secured. Because many times the thief is looking for the easiest thing to be able to steal. And chances are that thief has not brought all the types of things they need to disable all the locks on your trailer. So to summarize, try to keep your trailers out of sight. If you can't keep them out of sight, try to block them in. Having a vehicle blocking the view of the trailer or access to the trailer. And then on top of that, if you can't do that, make sure you're using locks. And you're not just locking at the front here, but you're also locking these chains on a small trailer or big trailer. And you're putting some other kind of visible locks somewhere else on the setup. So that way somebody cannot easily just drag your trailer away. And what kinds of other ideas do you use to be able to secure your trailer to keep it from being stolen? I'd like to hear about those in the comments below as well. But remember, no matter what you do, if somebody is really determined to steal your trailer, they can do it. But for those of us on a budget, sometimes just having a few simple padlocks or combination locks, a bicycle cable lock, and some wrenches to be able to add extra level of security is really all we need to be able to make sure our trailer is secure.